Attention millennials, you can now get a side of avocado toast if you purchase a home. Remember when Australian real estate mogul Tim Gurner said, millennials cannot afford to be homeowners because they spend too much money on avocado toast. <laughs> well, now an online personal finance company is hoping to cash in on that joke. For the month of July, Sophie is delivering avocado toast to millennials taking out mortgages. We want to bring in DeBanke, a real estate founder and star of Million Dollar Listing, Miami, Sam DeBianchi. Sam, good to see you. Thanks so much for joining us. Yeah, thanks for having me. So is this a genius marketing move or is somebody going to get burned here? (laughs) I mean, I'm all about great marketing and I'm all about great avocado toast as I had this morning. But what I can say is that I don't agree with that statement about millennials not buying. Um, Here are the facts. 33% of the home buying pool are first time home buyers. That median age is 32. 32 is a millennial. In May, existing home sales went up 1%. New home sales went up 3%. Inventory went down from last year by 8%. And the new median sales price is 345800 also a record high. So all of this positivity, and you're trying to tell me that millennials aren't buying. I'm a millennial. I've been buying. All my friends are buying. It's a feeding frenzy You recently bought a house? You bought a house I, recently? I recently... It's, well, it's interesting because I've owned for a while and I'm buying investment properties as well, which is a whole other ball game that millennials <laughs> oh, are doing. So they're not just buying. You've, their, you've seen that yeah. trend, Mitch. Yeah, the, the thing, Sam, that uh, concerns me is the lack of supply. And the reason why prices are going up is driven by supply. And when I looked at some of those cities that are, you have listed as top cities, those are also supply constrained cities that are seeing massive run ups in prices. So for millennials right. that are cobbling together a down payment and trying to buy buy that first home, are they getting iced out of the market because they just can't keep pace with uh, the rising prices? Um, They're getting priced out to an extent because remember, let's talk about here in South Florida or even that median sales price at $345,800. That's still relatively affordable. And when you have rates at 4% for a 30-year fixed, I mean, it's the best deal in town to be buying. I mean, look at rents. Rents across the country are sky high. It's insane. So if you have the ability to buy, you can. And then you could also argue, well, there's student loan debt, which, yes, there is. But at the same time, when you're buying as an investment, so let's say you're not buying to live in, but you're buying an investment property. So right now, I'm buying properties between 300000 and 400000 I'm airbnb them, and I'm making on a bad month 3500 on a good month 6000 a month. Wow. I'm not only paying off my house, I'm paying off my student loan debt, and I have enough money to buy that avocado toast at the end. Wow, let's look at you, Sam. Congrats. All right, we'll be watching. Thanks so much for the insights. Yes. Sam DiBianchi there. Coming up, 